my grandparents brought me to the Nutcracker when I was almost three. And I, I told them that's what I wanted to do. My mother was a dancer, and I would go to my grandmother's house and see my mom's old point shoes hanging on the door, and I decided that that was something that really interested me. For me, dance isn't just something I do after school. Dance is where I want to be. I was just taking classes for fun, and then I thought that this is what I would want to try to be as a career. I don't know. I was a totally different person when I stepped in the classroom. It's very challenging, but I've always been one to rise to a challenge and say, no, I'm going to do this, and you can't stop me. Well, dancers are athletes. I mean, I've played basketball, played baseball, ran track, and the hardest thing I've ever done is dance. A lot of ballet is moving your body and putting it in places where the human body isn't really meant to go. Every class is a chance to go farther and push yourself more. The challenges get harder, the roles get harder, you get more self-critical. You see yourself in a mirror probably six, eight hours a day. Always staring at yourself and looking at your imperfections and then saying, oh, I wish this was better today. And just knowing that you just have to keep working and keep working and keep working and then it starts to gradually get better. Because you have so many things to think about while you're dancing, you know, your musculature and your structure and then your performance quality, making it look effortless. There's, there's nothing like going on stage and nailing performance and just walking off and hearing the audience go crazy for it. That, that's the payoff for me. To know that somebody was affected in some kind of way by something I did. It's something that I gave to them. You just get like that rush of adrenaline.